Yes, from the theater arts to now we are focusing on music and we have members of the Act Nation who are going to be having an event sometime soon, sometime somewhere around you as well. And they're going to be telling us more about this event and how they're tying it to Kenyan music and live Kenyan music in particular. I go by the name of Barry Moses or it's Barry Moses on every social media platform. It's always a pleasure. White 54 channel on Twitter, White 54 underscore channel on Instagram and White 54 on Facebook is the way to reach us. Don't forget uh, to leave where you're watching us from because we like to represent for all the counties so Karibuni Sana, you're going to introduce yourselves uh, one by one. We can start with the lady, obviously. Oh, yes, All right, you. your camera <laughs> is number one. Uh, my name is Lilian Kangethe, mm -hmm. I'm manager of Ark Nation. All right, Karibu Sana. Fine. <laughs> my name is James or Jawa Mwangi. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm part of the management team in Ark Nation. Part of the management team in Ark yeah. Nation. Karibu Sana. Uh -huh. Hello, good morning. This uh -huh. is Adrian Loki. Uh -huh. I'm an artist. Uh -huh. Uh, I'm a songwriter, uh -huh. and uh, I am working in affiliation with Ark Nation. All right, yes. and you're one of the artists on the lineup. Yes, I am one of the artists on the lineup. Just say the name again. Adrian Loki. Adrian Loki. Yes. All right, please all mark the name because it's mm. going to come in handy uh, somewhere during this interview. But Karibuni Sana, it's really nice to meet you guys uh, during this uh, period of time. It's a very good time to be a, a Kenyan artist. Am I right to say it so? It is really a good time. It uh -huh. is really a good time. First of all, you can notice that uh, the Kenyan industry is growing day uh -huh. by day. Uh -huh. I mean, you, you get, I, I personally, I get to meet different uh, upcoming artists uh -huh. more than I meet uh, already established artists. Uh -huh. So I can say uh -huh. the road the road to success is not that, it's not that long. Like uh -huh. you usually had to. We're heading there. We're heading somewhere. We're heading somewhere yeah. and it's a beautiful time to be a it's Kenyan artist. It's a beautiful artist. time. Indeed. And there's good content as well. Of course. We'll be talking about that. As a manager of Act Nation, uh -huh. Uh, when was Ark Nation founded? Ark Nation was mm -hmm. founded in the year 2011, mm -hmm. but back then mm -hmm. it had a previous name, mm -hmm. uh, Trill uh -huh. Entertainment, mm -hmm. and it later changed to Ark Nation in mm -hmm. the year 2016, so we've been running with the name Ark with Nation. The so you guys rebranded? Yes. So you, you appreciate <laughs> rebranding as yeah, an aspect definitely. of marketing and, yes. and, and, and business. Yes. All right. So, Ark Nation, are we referring to the same Ark Noah uh, was, <laughs> was building in the Bible? Well, <laughs> you could say that because uh -huh. we have to bring everyone on board. Uh -huh. We have to bring artists, mm -hmm. all form of artists. Uh -huh. All form of artists. Yes. Like-minded guys. Yes. The rest are going to sink under the water. <laughs> Actually, yeah. it is just how you just put it. Uh -huh. uh, it's like the Noah story, you know? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You know you have to you you know you have to include everyone uh -huh. that has something like to offer. Yes. Like yeah, yes, like-minded, yes. <laughs> and then the rest, the rest can see. They join, <laughs> the rest they can join see. on board. <laughs> All right, I like yeah. this. Yeah. So uh, you're part of the management team yes, at Act yes, Nation. Yes. All right, so uh, maybe you can tell us what, what, what Act Nation does apart from events, because you guys are having an event on 9th March. Yeah. Uh, so apart from events, there are different aspects to the music industry. So what are yeah. some of these things that you guys do? Okay, Ark Nation is a very is a very wide management team. Uh -huh. So we have different guys for different functions. Uh -huh. There's the fashion team. Uh -huh. There's the gallery part. Uh -huh. There are painters. Uh -huh. Then there are various artists who have been incorporated to that team. Huh? Uh -huh. Then uh, for for today, I want to talk about the Quenye 237. Uh -huh. huh? mm -hmm. It's the event which will be taking part on the 9th of March. Mm -hmm. It will be happening at the Ray Gardens. Huh? Uh -huh. So it's basically a platform for popular mm -hmm. emerging arts. Mm -hmm. Then the, there's a kids festival. Uh -huh. It will be at the same venue. At the same venue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The same venue. There'll be art galleries. There'll uh -huh. be exhibitions. Uh -huh. So it will incorporate, incorporate all types of music genres. Uh -huh. There'll be band, band performing uh -huh. at the same same event. All right. So we have uh, your and Instagram. Then, and then, and then on screen right here right uh -huh. now mm -hmm. uh, i'd like to disrupt you just a little bit uh -huh. so as we scroll down these are the artists who are going to be performing on yes, this particular are, day these are the very so we have adrian loki the uh -huh. uh who's on set with us mm -hmm. we have laura stacy as well from resounds media uh, yeah. if i'm not wrong yeah. Kapna is also from resounds media yeah. we yes. have wakadinali, wakadinali. We have representing wakadinali. islando to the max, yes. max. all right yes. uh -huh. kibagendi uh -huh. Kibagendi, I'm not so sure, uh, but she's also going to be performing. Yeah, she yeah, she's performing. All right, Bendi Huru, I've heard of Bendi Huru as well. We can mm -hmm. scroll up. All right, so we have, oh, this, this is just you guys trying to promote the event. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. A large. So uh, I hope you guys mark the names because they're going to come in handy to us uh, somewhere uh, during this interview. Yeah. So 
this particular event, mm -hmm. uh, you have something for the kids as well. Yeah. Why did you choose to focus on the kids? Because it will be a daytime event. Mm -hmm. Uh, from uh, when guys are trying to unwind and it's on a Saturday, mm -hmm. it's, it's it's not it's not good to, to remain at home because you have kids. You can uh -huh. bring them on board because uh -huh. it will be an art. Even if you have nephews and nieces, yeah, you yeah. can bring them on board. Uh -huh. uh, Just bring them on board. There's something board. for they'll them. Be, they'll yes. be good vibes, uh -huh. bands performing, good music. Because right. we've been yapping about playing Kenyan content uh -huh. and the stakeholders uh -huh. haven't in invested their time on it. Invested their time on it. Yeah. Alright, before we talk about playing Kenyan content, I'd like to know, uh, I've not seen any, is there somebody who's going to be performing for the kids? I've not seen any child act on the on the, on the the rotor. Uh, what do you mean? There, there's not... Uh, for the kids. For the somebody, kids. For the kids. The, the music kids. is the music is not bounded. Uh -huh. uh, it's not bounded. Alright. It can be listened to from as in the genres can be listened from Nini from six year old to to a to a senior citizen. Yeah, to a senior citizen. back in the day, we also grew up listening to what our parents listened to, uh -huh. and it really influenced uh -huh. the music. How All we right, what we listen to right now, and if you're yes. an artist, it influenced. Let me talk to the artist mm -hmm. first. Okay. What you listen to growing up influenced what you're making right now, right? Yes. So, well, who are some of the influences, by the way? Who are some of the influences? Uh -huh. Me growing up. Uh -huh. I th uh, I think I have grown up in uh, in in a more universal industry uh -huh. than uh, the local industry. Uh -huh. So okay, they are they are acts like Isa, you know, Isa, uh, Isa is a legend, yes, uh -huh. you know. But then when I was in uh, I think uh, I was in uh, standard three, uh -huh. I was like nine years old. Uh -huh. I used to listen to Isa, Nameless, coming uh -huh. all around. Uh -huh. I mean. Besides those local artists, I used to listen to international artists, mm -hmm. somewhat like Lil Wayne, you know. Uh -huh. This is uh, at a later Brown. stage in your life, yeah. so there's been a transition. There's been a transition. So over time? Yeah, over time. All right. Uh, out of the acts that you're going to be performing with, okay. oh, you've obviously worked with some of them. Yeah. Which one have you worked with? I have worked with, uh, I have worked with Raj, uh -huh. Raj uh -huh. I have, uh, I have worked with Elf, King uh -huh. Elf. Uh -huh. And uh, we'll be performing together on the event. Uh -huh. And uh, I would say I have an unfinished collaboration to do with Wakadinali, although uh -huh. it is not yet out. Uh -huh. It is not yet even done with uh -huh. uh, recording. Uh -huh. So there's still more to come. There's still more to come. Yes. All right. Uh, what do you t how do you treat such a such a network of artists? Because when you're brought together to one stage, I see uh, in festivals uh, in the states, uh, so many collaborations are cooked. Okay. during these festivals because the artists link up they vibe they okay. perform they watch each other's performances mm -hmm. then after you see them posting pictures and then some time after you see a hit by some of these artists is it something that you look into do at this particular event as well uh, is well, that somebody uh, that you wanted to work with is going to be on stage that's, that's going to be on stage yeah. okay i'd say i would want to i would like to work with Kapnea. Mm -hmm. Kapne is really Swahili. dope. Uh -huh. Yeah, he, he's got some good vocals. Uh -huh. Yeah, I would, I would, I would, I would want to work with uh, with Wakarinali in not one one track, uh -huh. two, three, four, maybe uh -huh. five. All right. You know. So it's so limitless for you. It's it's limitless for me. It's right. limitless for an artist. I, I'd say. Thank you very much. For this leads me to the next topic of conversation, mm -hmm. which is Kenyan music. Each uh, each each artist uh, is a Kenyan. Uh, making the music in Kenya yeah. and trying to push it from Kenya to the world, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we've had this conversation about play KE music. Yeah. Uh, so before we talk about it or I ask any question, I'd like to get your opinions on what you think about it. What do you think about play KE music as a hashtag? First, um, first of all, I listen to strictly Kenyan music uh -huh. before I listen to others. Uh -huh. So I really appreciate uh -huh. Kenyan music, and I really don't understand when people say. We don't have content. Mm -hmm. people, I that is your biggest worry. <laughs> people uh -huh. don't listen. Uh -huh. People don't listen enough. Because, uh -huh. however, um, however not friendly the song is, mm -hmm. the act of appreciating and understanding where the artist came from mm -hmm. and what inspired the artist, mm -hmm. that's content enough. Mm -hmm. So and that's how you start appreciating. Because different people, as well as even the people from outside the country, the people you listen to, something drove them mm -hmm. and you appreciated so it. So first try to understand and never appreciate. hate what you don't understand. Yes. All right. Yeah. Appreciate, understand, never hate what you understand. I'd like to get like a brief... Uh, a brief uh, yes. 
from your perspective from my perspective uh, uh -huh. for this event we did it uh -huh. because of because of promoting kenyan content uh, uh -huh. So our hashtag is Fahamu Sana. Uh -huh. Kufahamu ni kufanya nini, ni kutambua sana. Uh -huh. Kama ujatambua sana, uh -huh. hawezi kufanya nini, hawezi kuitumia. Uh -huh. So lazima ni sana mtani, sana is art. So uh -huh. basically kutakuwa na different arts uh -huh. on display. Because uh -huh. playing Kenyan music, it's, it's not about music alone. Uh -huh. There are different aspects of art we need to consume uh -huh. as Kenyans. But is there content uh -huh. guys can consume? There is. Okay, D does the media uh -huh. do a background check? Because uh -huh. There's always this saying where at you can't get Kenyan content uh -huh. in a in a go, uh -huh. so you have to wait for the main, mainstream artist eh, uh -huh. to release new song. Then you say like we're playing Kenyan content, but uh -huh. they are, we have been sleeping on so many guys. Eh? Uh -huh. So many new guys have been slept on, uh -huh. and they are very very good content. Because uh -huh. I'm I'm sure when you come to an event, uh -huh. you'll notice that they are not the main. They are popular guys, uh -huh. and they are those who have been slept on, uh -huh. and they have very, very good content. I can say for a fact, uh, mm. most of them have been slept on. Been Even slept the on. guys that we think uh, uh, are socially known, yeah, yeah. I don't feel like uh, they're getting enough they're, so they're not, far. Because, okay, the, me the, the media, uh -huh. the media is, is functioning in such a way that it's all about networking, uh -huh. and the guys who, who sit at, at the table, uh -huh. they're the ones who are being known. All right. But for a new artist Which leads to my next question. Uh -huh. Okay, whose role is it? To to get that song to to, to to the media. All right, you have a dope song, mm -hmm. you have a dope profile, you have a dope brand going on, you have everything is dope around you. But uh, there are a million and one artists out there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm only one person with one head. Uh -huh. Whose role is it? It comes down, it come down to policies, because mm -hmm. we have to go back to the government policies. Mm -hmm. the, way, the way the film industry is being regulated, we have to regulate even there. The music industry. The music industry. Uh -huh. We have to give them platform because art grows on people. Mm -hmm. Art grows. Mm -hmm. As in, you listen to a jam for like three, three, three times. Eh? Uh -huh. You'll be like, hey, you'll be jamming on it. You'll uh -huh. be jamming on it. So like you'll be. So the the, me the media should give guys that platform, eh? mm -hmm. like you today. Give give us this platform for mm -hmm. to spread the word. Uh -huh. So guys will come to an event. They'll check out new artists. Mm -hmm. The same same goes applies across all board. All right. Yeah. Critics will say uh, the countries that are doing good musically mm -hmm. uh, have a culture. They've built a culture around the music. Mm -hmm. So you find uh, Lulapalooza, the festival. Mm -hmm. We've had it for the last, uh, I don't know how many decades. Mm -hmm. And every year we have the Lulapalooza. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me uh, an event or a festival that is more than five years old in Kenya. Blankets and Wine. All right. Uh, Koroga Festival. Mm -hmm. uh, there's so many events. Uh, uh, Color Festival. Color. 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 Uh -huh. All right, in a country with 40 million people, people. we can only mention five. Imagine. The known ones, but they have been having, yeah, guys have been having so many events, but mm -hmm. they haven't been get getting that much, much, much stay because right. of logistic purposes. Mm -hmm. So many, so many things. Media coverage. So we agree there's a lot to be done. Yeah, there's yeah. a lot. All right, lot. let's talk to the artists. Mm -hmm. uh, Sisi it to get to like any artist that I face <laughs> true, true. first hand, right? Yes. What do you think yes. about this play KE music hashtag? I think I think it's good. Uh -huh. It's actually the way to go. Mm -hmm. I love the hashtag. Mm -hmm. You know, when you say play KE music, it really means that every artist in Kenya or every artist, be it uh, they are coming from Kibera, be it is coming from Westlands, or mm -hmm. they'll get a chance. Mm -hmm. They'll get equal opportunities on mm -hmm. TV. Uh -huh. You know, and. Uh, what is good to me, or maybe what I need most, mm -hmm. is my Kenyan fans, first mm -hmm. of all, to recognize me before me getting recognized in Tanzania or me getting recognized in mm -hmm. Uganda, mm -hmm. per se, you know. So when you're playing, maybe I might be someone that doesn't really listen to, to watch TV, mm -hmm. let's say. Uh -huh. I, I don't go on TV to, to, to look for different uh, channels to watch. Uh -huh. but sometimes i might just find myself watching tv watching TV. naturally yes you sometimes see. you just sick of youtube sometimes yes. I'm, you just I'm just sick of youtube uh -huh. maybe i'm just tired i uh -huh. just go to the house and uh -huh. and then i turn the tv on while i'm eating uh -huh. you see and then the first content that i see uh -huh. is uh 50 cent uh -huh. uh, in the club uh -huh. pop which is, a song, that which that is, is a song that is so many years old. Yeah. It's so many years old. Uh -huh. It's and so many years old. And we old. have a new song in Kenya. We have every new day. songs. We have new songs in Kenya. Personally, where I come from, I know a lot. I know a bunch of artists, uh -huh. man. I know a bunch of artists. Mm -hmm. 
given an opportunity. All these artists are very great, uh -huh. really great. Uh -huh. So Play KE Music is going to open a door for them? Play KE Music. Uh -huh. it, you don't know who's really going to notice when we play it. Because, uh -huh. yeah, sometimes you might find that I'm, I'm, telling, I'm, I'm talking to a friend and then I'm like, hey, hey, you guy, do you know Kapnea? And then they're like, oh, Kapnea, who's Kapnea? Yeah. Kapnea. You know, they, they might not have seen him, uh -huh facially, uh -huh. but might have heard him uh -huh. on the radio. Uh -huh. So the more the Kenyan artists are being played uh -huh. on the radio or on TV, uh -huh. it increases their chances. It increases yes. their chances to know. Uh -huh. They become their familiar their more with their voices, you know? uh -huh. with their presence. Uh -huh. uh, and that's how we know Drake by yeah. Yeah. From listening to Drake. his voice. You know, you know, you know the, the, his people have uh -huh. already embraced him. Uh -huh. So if you are embraced from from the place you're coming from, uh -huh. then it wouldn't be difficult. So it's very important that we keep far. pushing this. Actually. It is very important that we keep pushing. We should, be keeping, keep we should be keeping pushing this brand because uh -huh. at the end of it all, guys from other countries come to Kenya to be cemented. Uh? Uh -huh. From other countries, they come uh -huh. to Kenya. We're like, hey, in Nairobi, if at all every guy listen to you in Nairobi, yeah, uh -huh. then you, your music is good. So uh -huh. what are we doing about our own? Our own people our from own Nairobi people, yeah. or from yeah. Kenya. From, yeah. All right. This hashtag still, it's controversial because when um, Calligraph did a song with, uh, with YC, mm -hmm. people were like, you pro play Kenyan music, but you are, they are going to get collabs with Nigerians. Yeah. How are we going to play that song? It's half Nigerian now. So if, uh -huh. so if, if, if I do a collab with someone that is not Kenyan, am I not Kenyan? Uh -huh. Still Kenyan content. It's still Kenyan, Kenyan content. content. It's still All right. I'm, I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to uh, to incorporate other. To incorporate but if we play so music from where that person is from, we are sh so much shade is thrown. There's always that reach because when you, when Calligraph does a music, mm -hmm. an artist from another country, then our music gets shared to their own country. To their own country. Yeah. But. Does it mean we be selfish? We don't play any music from Nigeria yeah. or any music from Tanzania? No, no. It's Even in Nigeria, they have a policy where they're like they're playing like sixty percent of their own. Uh -huh. uh, in here in Kenya, we are, we are we are always as in in every station, uh -huh. when in every five songs, <laughs> <laughs> like four, four, four foreign, foreign songs, songs. four foreign. Right? All right. Even so in the clubs, this play K music it should, doesn't it should, it mean should, we stop should, playing music from other countries. Be, uh, it doesn't mean that because really. uh -huh. guys always we love to listen to good jams from uh -huh. wherever. Uh -huh. So it's like you give guys the same same platform you're giving uh -huh. to them. Foreign, foreign, uh -huh. foreign, foreign. We're just let's be just a little bit biased. Let's play more Kenyan. Let's more play more yeah, Kenyan. It should be like that. The rest. You well, know, at the stage we are, we are playing more of the rest and less of Kenyan. Less of Kenyan. So let's get it's to like a point where we play more Kenyan. Kenyan. Uh -huh. Yeah, get seventy percent to Kenyan music. Uh -huh. The, the rest of that issue can be given to inter they already have money man they, <laughs> they, they have a lot they have a bigger life but out there right. right. you i think also it lies also on those big people the <laughs> calligraphs and the like uh -huh. to also mentor mentor uh -huh. yeah, mentor other artists because yeah. uh -huh. when i look at i i rarely watch international arts uh -huh. i love my kenyan and then african uh -huh. but you realize even in the states i see some artist just speak someone who wasn't uh -huh. known. And a typical example it, is Don Jazzy. Don, yeah. Jazzy. Yeah. Don Jazzy has a label, he has signed so many new acts, like Kenako yeah. Redi Bello, yeah. the rest of them. Like, just Tanzania, uh -huh. Diamond. Wasafi. I didn't know about, uh -huh. I, I just knew about this other guy, the uh -huh. one he sings with. Rivani. Rivani. Uh -huh. He wasn't there back in the day, uh -huh. I didn't know him. Uh -huh. But look at what has happened. So because of just the pool the that pool. Diamond yeah. gave to this As in, when, you, when, you, when you're up there, Pull down the ladder uh -huh. for guests to come. Pull. All right. Try to pull. Try to pull you, you find new content. Uh -huh. You find new content for you because you reinvent yourself. In as much as we're saying play Kenyan music, we also have old people uh -huh. still in the industry. Who are not helping ones. at all. And they, they, if they pick someone who is coming up, mm -hmm. you know they'll still remain fresh mm -hmm. and relevant to the industry. All right. You know everyone just wants to. I am a veteran. That's. Mm -hmm. pull we someone. can't point to one veteran Kenyan artist who has signed another successful artist. Can you point to anyone? I can point to Pinier. Uh -huh. DJ Pinier brought in Octopizo. All right, yeah. but he's not an artist. I'm he's trying not to an artist. Yeah, an artist. Uh, artists all are trying to do right yes, now. Yes, this happened Kenya. yesterday, last yes. week. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. we can't point to any legendary Kenyan artist who has tried to help another artist. Another artist that we know because of another legendary artist. There's uh -huh. none but to have. According to my opinion, I can say I can say Nonini uh -huh. brought in this uh, Ponit. Yes, Ponit. Uh -huh. 
but after but my opinion, it, it is, I, I think, think Tunit is a bit still old, like the new uh, But at least it's an example. It's, it's, an it's something it's, we can yeah, appreciate. It's an example. Yeah. It's, a, it's something we can appreciate. Uh -huh. and, uh, yeah. So uh, uh, apart from that, there's none what to ask. There's, no. there's none. There's none. There's none. All mm. right. Maybe you can tell us on White 54 channel on Twitter, White 54 underscore channel on Instagram, and White 54 on Facebook. Don't forget the hashtag Why in the Morning or Entrepreneurship Tuesday. Tell us that legendary artist or that artist that you know because of a legendary artist who pulled him or uh up. Let's get back to the event mm -hmm. uh, by Act Nation. What is the name of the event? The event is Kwenye 237. Two that is Kwenye 237? Uh, yeah, along Tika Road. Uh -huh. Kama to Gina, yeah. along Tika Road. Kwenye 237, along Tika Road. Right. From town, how do we get there? Uh, you can use Yuba. Uh -huh. uh, obviously. <laughs> obviously. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Yamins. <laughs> Yamins. Uh -huh. Cool. Aye. BRT ya jakuja lakini kuna basi. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, kuna basi zita kufikisha. Uh, uh, so uh -huh. the event is at Ray Gardens. Uh -huh. It's uh, at exit 13, uh -huh. next to Nibs College or next to Spamola. Eh? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. All right, so we have a ticket at hand here. Mm -hmm. uh, the tickets go for 500, yeah? Yeah, 500 mm -hmm. for one. Uh -huh. Then if you come three, you pay a thousand bob. If you come three, you pay yeah, a thousand bob. tickets of a thousand shillings. Oh, a thousand shillings. A group yeah. ticket. Yeah. A group yeah. ticket, yeah. All right, for a thousand shillings. Uh -huh. All right, so uh, uh, we are looking to get Kenyan music. Uh, is it going to be live Kenyan music? It yes. will be live. Uh -huh. Everybody's Does performing with a band. Yeah, with a yes. band. Even the hip-hop artists. Everybody's doing with a band. Myself, I'll be doing with a band. You'll be doing it with a band? Yes. Mm. You've been rehearsing with the band? Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> it's going down for real. It's going down for real. I like to see this. I like to see this. All right, so uh, Loki, do you, uh, do you consider yourself a rapper or an artist in general? Well, I consider myself an artist in general. Uh -huh. I, I I don't like limiting myself to the to the rapper name, you know, because uh -huh. you if you're a rapper you can just rap. There's uh -huh. nothing else you can There's do. There's nothing else you can There's do. There's nothing else you can and do. And sometimes you tend to and sometimes to turn to a teenage to, girl. Yeah, yeah. 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 You start beefing, beefing. To, <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. Now, <laughs> so, right. anyway, I like this so much. So Kwenye, uh, Kwenye. 237. Kwenye 237, yeah. hashtag Sanam Tani, Sanam hashtag Fahamu Fah 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 Sanam. Sanam. Yeah. Fah Fah these are the two Sanam. hashtags, yeah. and you told me the reason why you're pushing yeah. these hashtags yeah. in particular. Yeah. All right, so uh, how can they get to you on social media just in case they want to to buy some tickets or just interact with Act Nation and do business? Um, they can get us on... The camera is number four. Okay. Number one, rather. Uh, they can get us on Act Nation Corporation. Mm -hmm. It's just Act Nation Corp. Uh -huh. Shorten that way. Uh -huh. On Facebook, uh -huh. on Instagram, and uh -huh. on Twitter. And they can also get us on our private accounts. Uh -huh. um, Lilian Kangethe uh -huh. uh, on Facebook. Uh -huh. Wakangethe underscore Lilian uh -huh. on Instagram. All the, they can also get us on Kendall Noah. Uh -huh. On Facebook mm -hmm. and Ark Nation on Instagram. Mm -hmm. They can also get David Martin mm -hmm. on Facebook mm -hmm. as well as on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Yes. So Ark Nation Corporation. Corporation. Yes. Uh, on Instagram, it's Ark Nation Corporation. Ark Nation Corporation. Ark Nation Corp. 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 Yes. That is the way to find you guys. Yes. At, le at least that is centered from centered there. They yeah. can yeah. find yeah. everybody yeah. else from there. Yeah. Yeah. All right. As much as artists complain, as, uh, as somebody works with artists, yeah. what do you think uh, some of the things artists need, artists need to correct in Kenya? Okay. You've worked with them. <laughs> Tell me. Well. We see a mini artist. We go here to learn. Uh -huh. First of all, I think, have a learning spirit. Mm -hmm. You don't know. Just have a learning spirit. Mm -hmm. And appreciate. Stay hungry. Yes, yeah, mm -hmm. stay hungry because mm -hmm. you you get five thousand followers on Instagram, you're there, and mm -hmm. you can't convert the five thousand to cash. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, your music needs to give you money. Mm -hmm. So you need to put your music or your followers and everything convert them to money. Because at the end of the day, it's not about performing. Mm -hmm. It's not about saving up, going to the studio. Mm -hmm. You need this music to pay your bills at uh -huh. some point and the music to needs to you need work. a life you need a life as well <laughs> so you need and to it needs to be on autopilot like it needs to sustain itself yeah yeah you realize uh -huh. once someone is on like 10 followers on instagram mm -hmm. hasn't sold a record hasn't sold a single doesn't even have a, a full like songs mm -hmm. full songs or yes. ep or yeah. compilation but your 
can't even reach them. <laughs> you can't touch <laughs> this. <laughs> MZ Hammer. <laughs> so I think right. you need to have the learning spirit uh -huh. and also learn how to convert your followers. To, to the money. And it all drowns to events. Like uh -huh. when you go to events, uh -huh work on work get get a working relationship with these mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. again just i think humble up and mm -hmm. put at the end of the day you need your music to mm -hmm. convert into money you need your music to convert it to money and you need the business to sustain itself and like you, any other business yeah you do it when you go to events when someone approaches you mm -hmm. become approachable mm -hmm. to and do work with events. people yes work with people so artists need to improve on that what about their presence on on social media so as I say, I mentioned earlier, most of them have followers, mm -hmm. but the challenge is converting the followers mm -hmm. to... And they don't even reply to comments. They, they don't <laughs> reply, they, you text them, they don't have time to reply. Yeah, she's about thinking. engaging with the audience. Uh -huh, engaging yeah. with the audience. Yeah. Yeah. It's very because important. You have, a, you, you have an influence, uh -huh. but you have to engage with them. With your audience. Fans, yeah. What is the importance of engaging? Because somebody will say, yeah. I don't see Drake <laughs> replying to comments. How do you expect but me? And I'm trying to be like Drake. Drake doesn't reply, uh -huh. but how many people but he go to stores? As in, he has a team. So he, yeah. he'll be listening to the critics uh -huh. and to those who, who push him to make good uh -huh. music. Because uh -huh. we need to relearn and to learn at the same right. time. You need to relearn the mistakes you did in uh -huh. a certain song to improve on your weakness. Yeah. Even Jay-Z is still making mistakes. So like you need to relearn first, then you learn. And then put your work out there. Put it, work regardless out there. of how it looks, regardless yeah. of just put your work out there. I wish we could just put it. We up. could equate those mm -hmm. like the Kenyan artists to the Kenyan artists who mm -hmm. have made it, rather mm -hmm. than those who are out there because they are doing what they are doing out there. Mm -hmm. Relate them to Saudi Soul and All like. Right. But you know, I don't want to throw jabs here and say, <laughs> I can have any respond to comments. Yeah. They'll come for my name. Like for yeah. example. People attend their shows, people mm -hmm. attend, people buy their music, people mm -hmm. access their music. Mm -hmm. Can other artists aim to get, get to that, to that level? level? Yes. I mean, right. is, there, is there a platform where, like, the media fraternity, because mm -hmm. we, we have been listen, listening to the rules of MCSK, then mm -hmm. after one year, the, the money which is being recouped, you're like, hey, boss, mm -hmm. I need to change my career. You need to change. <laughs> so, like, as in that push. I feel your spirit, that brother. That push. So, mm -hmm. like, hey. Because you can look at the, the likes of Kantai, mm -hmm. as in, you have good content, but mm -hmm. where's the push? Where's the push? Where's the push? And from where that does it yeah, goes from corporates to... She's in. focused on converting it to money, which yes, is very at important. At the end of the yes. day, you mm -hmm. go to an event, you perform, like you come to Kenya 237, you perform, mm -hmm. it's business for you, it's mm -hmm. business for us at mm -hmm. the end of the day. So you need to work together you with need these to guys, because you can't be the artist, you can't be the event manager. organizer, you yeah. can't be the manager. You can uh, push your own music. All right, music, let me can. talk to the artist now. <laughs> so, uh, Loki, uh, yes. uh, as an artist, you've performed on different stages. Yes. Uh, I'd like to know, as an artist, how important is it to keep performing? How much does it build your movement and how uh, have the performances you've had before impacted your music or increased your fan base? How, how, how has it impacted your career in general? Performances. Mm -hmm. Performances in general, they give you exposure. Mm -hmm. They give you exposure. They give you confidence. Mm -hmm. They give you the confidence to stand in front of a thousand people. The first time I, I was performing, mm -hmm. I performed in front of a thousand people. My friend, mm -hmm. it wasn't easy. Uh -huh. It was very So you rough. need to start with the 10, 20, No, I didn't start with 10. I started <laughs> oh with yeah, a thousand. you just got thrown in <laughs> the A friend deep of mine end. just busted me. I didn't even have one record out. Uh -huh. I just used to sing and a friend of mine just said, okay, I'll come bust you one day. Uh -huh. And I used to take it as a joke until that day came. Uh -huh. I was busted, I had to, uh -huh. but it was work. Uh -huh. But then after a series of performances, performances, I gain my confidence, I gain, I gain my, uh, my audience's uh, trust, uh -huh. you know. After a couple of performances, I'm like, okay, okay. This is how it's done. Okay. And studying other I, people who have done it before. Yes, uh -huh. yes. I, I came to get a round of applause and I was like, okay, now I'm here. Now you're here. Now I'm now here. Now you're doing it. And yes. you're looking forward to another and round I'm of applause to at Queen yeah. 237. 237, <laughs> I'll be there, man. Eh? <laughs> nice, eh? I'll be hoping to see everyone. Yeah. All right, I like that so much. How did it impact your fan base? Do you feel like when you go out to perform and meet your people? Because I look at the likes of uh, uh, Joey Badass and the Bro Air, when they were coming up, yeah. 
they went on tour so much, so much. They were even recording on tour. Uh -huh. And this is how their fan base grew because I was watching their videos and I'm like, all right, people really love this thing. Yes. They yeah. have people wilding to this thing. Yes. All right, so how did it impact your fan base? Do you feel like it grew your fan base going from a normal time? It has actually been improving my fan base. Uh -huh. It has improved my fan base. I get to I get to I get calls uh -huh. from people I, I I've never met before or, uh -huh. or we've never spoken. Uh -huh. Some guy may be coming from Nyeri, another one coming from Kiambu. You uh -huh. know, pe people just happen to to, uh -huh. to come across you on the internet, uh -huh. and then they want to reach you for some sort of a collaboration or uh -huh. maybe asking you out to a performance. Because uh -huh. of something you've so, done before. Yeah, of course of something I have there. done before. Uh -huh. They're actually going to perform in, to perform in different places. I've performed in Umoja, I've uh -huh. performed in uh, Sarakasi Dome uh -huh. town. We've performed in uh, UON just here. Uh -huh. You see, we've been performing in Kasarani. <laughs> we've gone out for performances. So always, always, always. Always, always. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Loki. I think we are done uh, with you for now. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can tell us uh, one last thing, mm -hmm. one reason why you think people should make it to the Queen Uh The why, mm -hmm. why they should come to Ray Gardens. First mm -hmm. of all, uh, it's the experience, mm -hmm. the ambience, mm -hmm. as in the art of it, because there'll be exhibition, mm -hmm. there'll be guys who are doing, doing graffiti, there'll mm -hmm. be, as in, bands live music basically because mm -hmm. we've been complaining about the quality of music mm -hmm. so like when you come to our event it will be all live live on set drums from the piano to the all the whole set mm -hmm. so it'll be good to your ears so all it right. be generally good, good things are one good yeah. things are popping yeah, yeah, yeah. all right <laughs> also uh, to add on that uh -huh. i would like to not only the fans uh -huh. uh, um this is me speaking to some of my fellow rappers and singers artists uh -huh. in general uh -huh. that are upcoming uh -huh. you see the stages to this uh -huh. now i would like to to uh to have them come into the event uh -huh. because one not necessarily that you have to perform uh -huh. but it's an experience uh -huh. you will get a come contact. interact with other artists come interact with come other learn artists something. Yes. come learn something uh -huh. it will give you a push to wherever you're going to all right it will definitely give you a push so not only the fans and lovers of music if not you're an only artist the fans as well you're lovers and music uh -huh. if you're an artist just come through uh -huh. Many of us are trying to connect here. We appreciate you, my brother. We are running out of time. Uh, so maybe your last words to the people who are watching right now. On behalf of Ak Nation. Mm. On behalf of Ak Nation, mm -hmm. uh, we have the event, Kwenye 237. Mm -hmm. Come, have fun. Come expecting some good vibe. Mm -hmm. Come expecting some mingling moments. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and come enjoy. Thank you very much, guys, for coming through to Why in the Morning. We appreciate you. All the best on 9th mm -hmm. March at the Ray Gardens. Take a road. Mm -hmm. Exit 30. Mm -hmm. Exit 30. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yes. We've come to the end of Why in the Morning on this particular Tuesday, uh, on Entrepreneurship Tuesday. I go by the name of Bai Moses, or it's Bai Mon, every social media platform representing for Hilda Wathithi, Kalami Val, and Joy Muchache. On behalf of everybody who made this possible, we appreciate you so much. So today we have had a lot to learn from the theater arts uh, to the music industry, and hashtag play KE. Loki says, let's keep pushing it. So we have a lot of shows uh, still uh, lined up for you in the course of the day before we can come back with why in the morning tomorrow on Queen's Wednesday so don't go nowhere don't touch that down